Scaling in and out of trades, trade like a two-headed snake. You want to do this to go over and prevent yourself from getting shot in the ass, like this poor girl who wasn't paying attention, and that's what happens. Trading is like war. Now every good general knows how to move resources on a battlefield to gain position, and that's what we're doing in this video. So, you know, moving and scaling in and out of trades, I do it over and over again in order to gain more profits. You know, I don't stand still and just wait to get shot in the ass like this girl. <laughs> Damn, that's a funny picture. But anyway, listen to this video. You'll find it educational and have a great day. All right, so in this article, I wanted to impress upon you the three different elements. And we had a big move in Bitcoin. And I've used a technical pattern. We're trading on the plus side of the, the trend line break that we had here. We had structure. We had a diamond pattern. And we get the breakout to the upside, uh, the logical 61.8 cycle level buy down here, and the sell towards up here. This should be resistance. And that's the bracket we're currently in. Now, I'm impressing upon you the three different elements. Number one being flexible, like the two-headed snake, where if you attack it on its head, then it attacks you with its tail. If you attack it on its tail, it attacks you with its head. If you attack it in the middle, it'll attack you with both. I want you to to you know think of being both long and short and hedging and whatnot. I'm buy side, so I'm always looking to buy. But as we had this price move up here, um, I'll sell. You know, and you can see that in the Bitmex account, we've done pretty good. This is just testing. We went from 128. I'm up to 233. Now I'm up to around 240 thanks to this move. And um, uh, for the past few days, I've just been holding and just doing nothing because the consolidation has been so tight. Uh, but anyway, you can see the movement that we've had. And this is being flexible. I've been both long and short, and I've traded this again and again, over and over, using the technical analysis, um, the, which is my major tool, right? And uh, it tells me, it gives me a plan and a focus. That's your next step after, you know, being flexible and being able to, you know, with these platforms being long and short, you know, you can also um, have a plan. You have an idea. I know where I'm going to sell. I know where I'm going to buy. Then from there, I just execute. And if you don't know where to buy and where to sell, you need education. That's the third part. You need to um, educate yourself. And the great thing about this is if you have different services like um, uh, verified crypto news, you can get that education. Um, so, you know, definitely check them out. And uh, if you want to attend the webinar that we're holding on a Saturday that goes over the pattern, like what I used in here, you can see that that led to where we are right now and all of this and to learn what that means and the, the FIB ratios and how to tell a cycle and and uh, a pattern breakout and how to, to really understand what's going on and to build a good plan, then join that webinar. I think you'll find it very educational. And uh, yeah, be flexible. You know, I'm selling as well, growing up into resistance up to here as a sell, just from a trading point of view. Now, I also will just be holding for future moves to the upside, but that's just my HODL position. I also have my trading position, which I buy and sell and whatnot. Um, but anyway, uh, this is an update. You know, so the three key elements, be flexible, both long and short. Uh, you have great platforms that offer that. And, um, you know, uh, stay focused and, and goal driven. You know, you know what you want to do. You want to get a profit. So use the tools correctly to get that profit. And uh, lastly, get the education, you know, by joining things like VCN or different places that will give you the knowledge for technical analysis uh, where you can develop those plans and uh, learn to be flexible and a good trader, basically. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. One thing is, well, I want you to keep an open mind in trading. Like, for example, we've had a big move up, but this could be a bull trap. There's uh, no way to tell that and whatnot. And if it is, it is. And what's going to happen is that the low levels in the 6,000 range are going to get crushed. And uh, there's a lot of manipulation out in the market right now by institutions or individuals. And you can see it in the price action, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, keep that in mind. Always think 
both sides, not just one or the other. Now the one key element that I lay out in this article is education. And the one place you can get that is Verified Crypto News. I give my webinars there and uh, I also give my trading ideas and share them there as well. So if you're interested in joining, look down in the description. And other than that, have a great day.